So good afternoon. Hi, um, Francis Rayner here. Francis Rayner, um, health and wellbeing coach um, for midlife. Um, welcome to my Sit Fit class. This afternoon, I'm going to be doing. We're going to half an hour. We're going to start with a bit of cardio and band work. So if you have a band, then grab that. If you haven't got a band, you can do all the exercises without the band work to finish before we do a little cool down. So within some of my other classes this week, we're, well, this month actually of May, we're having a core strength month. So um, I thought it'd be really great if I could share a few little exercises with you to really help with uh, that midsection. Okay, so um, please pop a comment in to the side. Um, let us know whether where you're from today. Let us know whether um, how you felt about the class and whether you've enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I hope that you enjoy. Um, so basically, we want a nice sturdy chair. Um, let's make sure I, um, our feet are planted firmly on the ground. We want to just roll those shoulders back, let them down, just to find that nice neutral position. So if you need some support at the back, then just grab a cushion and put something in at the back. Don't compromise with your feet off the ground. What we want to do is make sure those feet are far, firmly planted on the ground. We're going to start, I'm going to just pop some different music on. So we're going to start with um, some legs. So we're going to start with a march, um, just marching those legs out. And then we're going to do something called a scissor leg. So marching up, bringing those knees up and down. Then we're going to go into this forward and backward motion. So for that, you might use, and that will stop you from slipping backwards in your chair because we want to stay nice and upright. So we've got 30 seconds and then a 15 second rest. In that 15 seconds, we're going to keep marching. But if you want to take a rest, then please feel free to do so. OK, so we're going to make a start. Let me just change this music. Okay, we've got a bit of disco this afternoon. <laughs> so, okay, let's get the timer going. So, let's march it out. So, I'm going to pop my band down. So, literally just march those feet. So, remember, we're going to stay nice and upright in the chair. Okay, we're going to move to those scissor legs. So, legs come forward and back. Fantastic. So, straight in today. So it's about 15 minutes of exercise we're going to do before we move us. March again. So we're going to warm up gradually as we go. Okay, well done. Keep going. Right. So we're going to do a heel comes out. So heel comes out, hand comes forward. So it's like a single arm chest press. That heel coming forward. So we're going to just keep in time with the music. There's no need for us to go too fast. If you feel like you need to slow it right down, that's absolutely fine. Pushing forward. So we can do about another three more. Two and one. Let's march it out. Well done. Okay. We're going to take those legs and arms back. Single arm, single legs. So follow me as you go. So one leg is like coming back. So your leg comes back, and at the same time, your arm comes back. So we're going to go opposite arms, opposite legs. Again, just go at your own speed. The most important thing here is movement. We're moving our bodies. So whether we get 10 reps in, 20 reps, it really doesn't matter. We're doing something, which is fantastic. Let's give it two more. One more. March it out. So if you're already feeling tired, or you may feel you need a rest, when you get to these 15-second rests, you can literally sit still in your chair, or you could tap your toes. So we're going to... So it's lateral leg, arm comes forward. Take that leg out. Fantastic. So just keep moving that leg out, pressing that hand forward. 
Well done, well done. Good. So you might want to do a little toe tap. So we're going to march for the 15 seconds, but you can tap. Just tap that toe if you just feel like you want to keep things moving, or you can take that rest. Okay, this time, lateral leg and the arm is coming across. So previously it was coming forward. This time that leg is going out. The arm is following it, but in the opposite direction. Superb. Keep going. We're going to stay up two more. One more. Let's march it. So march it out. Fantastic. Okay. We're going to, arm comes down, knee comes up. There's a lateral arm pulled down. Now, if you can only just get your foot off the ground, that's absolutely fine. Or if you've got a little bit of a shoulder injury and you want to drop your arms, you can just bring your knee up. Or vice versa, if you've got a little issue with your leg, you can just bring those arms down. It's all about adaptation, getting it to work for you. Let's march it out. So march, rest, toe tap. Okay, we're going to do a, so you can do a single leg jack, so those arms come out, or you can do double leg. Taking those hands up to your shoulders. So it's a little bit like a jumping jack. So singles are these, doubles are these. So you could do an alternate mix. One more and march. March it out. Fantastic, good, okay. So we're gonna do a leg raise and a chest press. So leg comes up, double hands this time. So your hands come back to your shoulders. Point that toe, so the toe should be pointing up to the ceiling. If you're struggling with that, again, you can do arms, you can do legs. What we really want to do is work that brain as well. Start thinking about that coordination and how that can help us as well. Let's march it out. Okay, we're going to point that toe. Hands go right up to the ceiling. So point that toe. And we've got shoulder raise. Really pushing up nice and high. So hopefully you're feeling nice and warm now. All ready to go. Get that band, which is going to be next. Not quite. We've got about four exercises still to go in this little, little round. Right, let's march it out. Okay, so we're going to give those legs a little rest. We're going to plant them on the floor. We're going to punch forward for two. Then we're going to go up for two. So reach nice and high and forward. And up and forward. Keep going. Nice big stretch Then a nice reach forward. Up we come. And one more forward, march it out. Okay, so we're gonna do a little combination. So heel out, arms come up and down. So one arm up, one down, heels coming out. Thank you. 
really good. Okay. We have one more before we pick up the band. Or if we don't have a band, don't worry, you can do these exercises without. March it out. Okay, we're going to lead the arms out this time. So again, a little bit. Follow me as you do. So we're going to go out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Now you can keep it that speed or you can go up a little bit faster. So we're just going from wide leg to narrow leg. Give those shoulders a little break. Okay, well done. So just keep tapping those toes. We're going to pick up that band. We're going to take that band up in front. And we're going to pull that band. So we're going to literally pull that band down to our chest. So we retract the band out. We're pulling the band out, getting the resistance on. Good, okay. So these bands come in all sorts of different weights. So this yellow one is probably quite an easy weight. They have red, blue, I've seen green ones. So you can really progress using a resistance band. Right, take a little rest, just roll those shoulders. Okay, we're gonna take the band out in front. We're going to just go to that rest. We're going to pull it back to our chest. Yeah. So people who come to my class, a lot of them started with a yellow band. Several of them have progressed through from a red band to a blue band, which is really good. Shows that their muscle mass is improving. Their strength is improving. All good. Okay, one more back to that chest. Again, roll those shoulders. Just have a little wiggle in your chair. We're going to take that band behind. Okay, punching forward. So the top of the hand is facing upwards. So gripping that band, pushing it forward, working through that back as well as the arms. Right, fantastic. One more. Right, okay. We're going to leave the band there. This time, we're going to pull both forward. So when we're ready, here we go. So follow me when you're ready. Push forward with that band. So you, we're following, I'm kind of following the beat of the music, but you don't really need to. You could go as slow or as fast as you want. The more you do this, the easier it becomes. One more, fantastic. Okay, we're gonna take this band and we're gonna wrap it around our legs. And we're gonna just make sure we're still sitting, feet are firmly on the floor, shoulders are back, chin is up, and we're gonna just open those legs. So it's a lateral movement with the leg, really pulling into that resistance. Brilliant. Okay, keep going. Excellent. Okay, give those legs a little rest. We're going to keep that band there. And this time we're going to lift up that knee. So it's right leg, left leg, or 
vice versa. So join in as soon as you're ready. 30 seconds. Simple, simple exercises are the best. Really can help to develop muscle mass, really bring up that heart rate as well. So we're working that cardiovascular system. Great for flexibility, great for joint stabilization. Really good for balance. Okay, take that rest. And building that core is really, really important. So we're gonna take that band underneath the waist. We've got two more to go. So back to arms. So just wrap that band round. We're gonna do bicep curls. So this time, our palm of our hand is facing upwards. We're really pulling on that band. Working that bicep muscle at the, here at the front of the arm. Working those shoulders and all, all together a great all round. All round exercise. Good. Okay. One more to go. So we're going to take that band and this time we're pulling using both hands or we can do one at a time. Whatever feels good to you. So we're going to come up. So upright row. So elbows are coming up. You can see to my shoulders. I'm trying to pull that band, get my hands up to shoulder height. Elbows are coming up to the shoulder. We don't want to take them any higher than that. A little bit can depend on how long your band is. So you need a nice long band. Okay, and we're nearly there. One more. Fantastic, okay. So let's just tap those toes out. We're gonna pop that band down. I'm gonna change the music because we're gonna do something a little bit more slow and controlled on the core. Okay, that will be quiet in a minute. Get that out of the way. Okay, actually, just before we start, I'm just going to show you just a little demonstration, and I'll do that from the side. So, if possible, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to kind of lean back in your chair a little bit. Um, it will depend on your back and really depend on um, how your back is feeling, but do remember you can still have something behind your back to support it. What we're going to be doing is we're going to we're going to pull our bodies. What we're going to take is our hands to our temples and we're going to bring our body up to sitting position. So I'm just coming up to, to an upright position. So I'll come down again, lean back in that chair and I'm going to come up. And the idea is, is that you're going to really brace those ab muscles, the core. You're going to suck in that belly and it's the core muscles that are going to pull you up in the chair not your back so one of the benefits of a strong core is that you are going to be able to get yourself um pull yourself up without having to strain your back okay so if we have weak muscles in the tummy then unfortunately we tend to engage our lower back muscles and that can lead to us having um, a really sore lower back. So if you suspect that your core is um, weak, then these are the muscle exercises for you. Your training so we're gonna lean back. Four, so we've got about three, 45 seconds two, and then we're gonna rest. One. So up to sitting and we roll back up we come again so really pull in those core your tummy muscles it's like your belly button think where your belly button is and really suck it in it's a really small movement but we need to keep it fluid and up we come halfway there and back and up so we're coming backwards and forwards nice and slow and controlled and up. So keep those hands, if your hands or your arms are sore, holding it there, Four, then we can bring our hands to our knees. Two, one, one, one. Okay, little rest. So we're going to stay back. Yeah, 
this time we're going to have our hands above our head and as we come up we're going to just lift our our leg we're going to alternate so we just pull those hands down so we're pointing that toe to the ceiling and again we're keeping our chin up we're not going to let our head drop and our toes are pointing to the ceiling and that's going to give us a nice little workout at the back of the leg Halfway there. as well as the core okay brace those abs pull in those ab muscles really good well done guys keep going Four, three, one more if we two, can squeeze one. Well done. Okay, hands to our temples. Just gonna have our hands yes, to our temples ready. again. We come back into a more upright sitting position. Hands to our Four, temples. Three, and two, we are gonna twist one. to the right. So round we go, back to center, and back we go again, and center. Fantastic. Halfway there. Keep going. Keep that chin up. Keep looking forward. Nice and slow Four, and controlled. Three, two, one. There we go. Okay. So we are going to do a side bend. So we're going to have to pop our left hand on our thigh and we're coming down to the side. It's like we're running our hand down the side of the chair if there was a side. But we're using our other hand just to help keep our balance in the chair and make sure that we don't overstretch. We don't, we don't want any of this. <laughs> we don't want anyone falling off. So we're just coming down the side, nice and slow and controlled. Halfway there. So we're just doing the right, and then we're going to go to the left. Fantastic. Four, three, two, one. Good, okay. So we're going to roll those shoulders let's have a little reset roll those shoulders yes, let them ready. drop feet are on the floor hands on this thigh right hand this time Four, and then we're going to be three, leaning over two, one. so a nice side bend keep that chin up looking ahead okay today's workout two sections really we've got the little cardio section with the band some resistance work and then we've got this core section so if you come back to this at another point you know what's to come so you can split the workout so you could just come back and do the core or you could come back and do the first section the cardio and resistance it's entirely up to you Four, three, especially if you're stuck two, for time okay one. Again, little reset there. Okay, this time we're going to bring bring the knee up or the leg up off the floor, and the knee's going to come come up Four, towards the elbow. Three, two, so a little twist in one. the body, and then alternate in sides. So we're really just we don't need to meet those. Elbow and knee doesn't need to meet. If you can get them in the right direction of each other, that's really cool. Halfway there. Fantastic. Keep going. Good. Okay. Well done. 
Okay, we're going back in that chair. We're going to lean back again. Hands to our temples. This time, knee comes up as we come forward. So we come to sitting and the knee comes up. Good. Okay, pulling those tummy muscles. Just keep them nice and strong. It's going to really help you, help your lower back. Okay. Four, three, We've got one two, more to go. One. Okay, back up to sitting position. Okay, we are going to come back to that side bend. So we're going to do a twist, Four, twist, three, and then two, a side bend one. each side. So we go right twist, left twist, side bend side bend so back we go so right twist right left twist right side bend left side bend well done keep going this is your last one halfway there twist So don't leave me too quick. We're going to do a little, um, just a little cool down and a stretch. Four, three, two, one. Well done. Okay. Roll those shoulders back. I'm just going to change that music one more time. Get ready. We are done with that. Um... Okay. A little bit of cool down music. Okay, I really hope you enjoyed that. Let's just roll those shoulders back. So it's both together, we're rolling them back. So we're gonna do a few stretches for the upper body as we have worked those shoulders and come forward. A couple of neck stretches, upper body stretches, and then also lower body as well. Okay, so pop those hands on the thighs. We're just going to look over to the right. We want to keep those hips nice and square in the chair. We're going to come the other way. Come back one more time. So just looking over that shoulder. This time we're going to take our ear to our shoulder and up and back down we go. One more time to the left. Good. Okay. We're going to link those hands in front, push them away from us. Just drop that head between our hands. All we want to do is feel a nice, round those shoulders, a nice stretch across the shoulders. Hands come behind, just pull those hands back just to show, so I've clasped my hands. If you need to just pop your hands on your top of your bum, push those elbows back, that's all good. Whichever's easiest for you. And let's take these hands, so take one arm across the body. So you're going to hold on to that arm just below, above your elbow. You're going to push, pull that arm into our body. So to gain some flexibility on these muscles, we need to be holding these stretches for about 30 seconds. We're probably not quite there today because it's, a, it's not a particularly long session. Just swap hands. So if you're doing any stretching, 
a quick stretch is great but if you really want to build some flexibility into the muscle and the joint then you need to be holding it for about 30 seconds brilliant okay we're going to bring that so you might need to come a bit forward in your chair let's bring that heel to the ground toe is facing upwards we're just going to push those hands away stretching down the back of the leg so we've got the hamstring really stretching that nicely feel that to the point where it kind of little little bite is how i describe it push forward a little bit more if you can a little bit more of a stretch and let's change legs excellent okay come back to your chair this time let's bring the toes up so we're up on our toes Watch the feel a stretch in those calves just feel the tension build there so we're really working through that muscle drop that heel down up we come again and down we go one more time excellent and we're there so thank you very much i hope you've really enjoyed um, the workout today um, you can find out more about me on facebook at francis rain at midlife if you pop that into facebook you'll find a little bit more about what i get up to but hope you've enjoyed today and do it again another day because it is superb for you thanks very much bye bye